All right, so we currently have two mines right here. Let's go ahead and test it out. So let's go ahead and try our first. All right, and welcome back, boys. So we're doing another episode in our tier five review. Uh, this time, I think we're actually going to mix it up. We've done a lot of perks. We've done a lot of ammo mods, a bunch of stuff along those lines. I think it is time we finally do our first skill upgrade. And with that, there's tons of good options here. I haven't upgraded any of these to tier four, haven't tried Frenzy Guard or any of that stuff. But honestly, I'm really curious about Energy Mine because this one had a lot of potential before, uh, but obviously it was, you know, outshadowed by Ring of Fire like everything else is. But now that it has a tier four and five upgrade, I think that it could potentially be kind of useful. So we're going to go in, test some strats out that worked with the old Energy Mine, and we're going to see how well they work with the tier five version of it. So starting off, when you get to tier one, you increase the maximum charges to two. That's awesome. Double the size of the blast when you get to tier two. Tier three, mine detonates two times in rapid succession. All cool stuff. Tier four, enemies damaged by the blast will have their armor destroyed. Once again, really cool. As you get, as you get to higher and higher rounds, obviously the armored zombies are really annoying. And when you get to tier five, mine detonates three times in rapid succession, stunning special enemies. So one, now it's going to blow up an extra time. And on top of that, it is going to stun the specials. So yeah, all really cool stuff there. It's going to be destroying their armor. It's going to be going off an extra time and stunning the special enemies. And with that, let's go ahead and get it tier four and tier five. So our first tier five skill is the energy mine all right now we're on d machine this is really the only map where i kind of done a strat before where i saw the energy mine working out so we're going to test kind of using the energy mine and how it works kind of on lower rounds higher rounds uh with this new tier 5 ability and the only strat that i've ever seen that actually really used this ability but real quick while i'm getting set up if you want to sub and join us on our goal of hitting 40k subs that'd be greatly appreciated we actually just hit 35k subs at the time of recording this we do tons of content like this kind of testing stuff in zombies zombies guides camo guides all that cool stuff can be found here all right so we currently have two mines right here let's go ahead and test it out so let's go ahead and try our first okay so we just shot it underneath cool stuff and it's in a room okay well i guess it's you know what screw it. we're just gonna go ahead and use our second of course look at that i managed to shoot it into that room right there of course it's something only i would freaking do so there's one blast two blast and three blast okay kind of cool definitely not going to help us on these lower rounds here i don't really want to test this out on lower rounds want to test that on high rounds we still have that one i wonder how long that's going to stay there well we're not going to open that side of the map for a while now but i want to definitely test how it works in camping spots and how it's going to work on these higher rounds to see if it's something that's going to be really good for kind of you know the iron lung and other strats so i'm going to go ahead let the rounds go by and kind of get a better setup for it oh now i got a megaton let's go ahead and test if the uh you know the effect works on the megaton because sometimes when it says special it can affect them sometimes it can't uh, didn't seem to stun the Megaton whatsoever here. Let's get it right underneath him. Yeah, no. Definitely doing damage, but, uh, not seeming to stun him whatsoever. That second one was right freaking on top of him, so there's no way that's gonna actually end up stunning him. Alright, now we've got the split version. Let's see if we're able to stun the split version at all. No. It's just doing da- oh, wait. No, that was just them stopping. It's not stunning him whatsoever. It is doing quite a bit of damage to them. Uh, but once again, obviously nowhere near the damage that ring of fire would be able to do to him because you would pretty much be able to kill any sort of, you know, elite right away. This does recharge quicker, but, uh, what, took him down to, like, half health because I damaged him a little bit before. So definitely a meh for me in terms of, you know, boss killing. All right, kaboom. Let's see if we can kill him with that. Boom, boom. Yeah. So, yeah, it definitely not worth it for killing bosses. All right, currently round 19. I'm going to go ahead and test out exactly how it works in this strategy. This is the only strategy I've ever really seen this be useful before in. Uh, and if it has any chance of being good, here's where it's at. And, I mean, it, it kills a lot of zombies, but I don't know, guys. It's still just not good. I'd say even the tier 5 version of this is still worse than tier 3 Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire has definitely kind of stolen the show in terms of abilities it has always been the best since launch it is clearly the single best ability and i mean this one's not bad this isn't a bad ability but it's like at most you can kill an entire horde of zombies so what 20 if you're extremely lucky with that and you're you're not going to kill 20 zombies at most you really realistically you're going to kill 10 zombies with one of these mines right ring of fire if you're in the right spot with Ring of Fire, you can kill 30, 40 zombies with one Ring of Fire, more than that, and it affects your whole team. You put down one Ring of Fire, your whole team can kill hundreds of zombies in total, whereas this little energy mine's gonna kill like 10? Like, hey, it's gonna give it a shot, and I mean, 
and then making it where it's gonna stun special enemies now and it's gonna you know have an extra blast so now it's gonna go one two and three like that's not gonna build the gap between it and ring of fire and i think that's gonna be something we're gonna notice as we review more and more of these that uh regardless of what they do to make this better it's just not going to compete with Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire is so strong, and they even gave Ring of Fire some really good abilities with the Tier 5 now. It's, like, even better, whereas this feels like Tier 5 of this is just a gentle pat. Like, this is not something I'd recommend getting now, or this would be one of the last things I'd get, if we're being honest. This uh, Energy Mine, I can't really think of any situation where it's going to be, you know, more useful than any other ability. It's definitely uh, bottom of the list for me. We might do an overall upgrade tier list when we're done with this, but uh, as it stands right now, definitely give Energy Mine Tier 5 a pass. Unless you've got all of everything else bought and you're just looking for crystals to use. I mean, go ahead, get it, play with it. It's kind of fun to use. I mean, having an Energy Mine I can throw down at will is cool, but um, it serves no purpose. All right, now on round uh, 32, we're going to give it one more shot on a high round. So, I mean, yeah... Really, only the first blast kills so many of them. So you see the first blast here, absolutely kills them. But by the time the second and third blasts go on, not enough have spawned back in. And yeah, there's no redeeming factor to this. Uh, if you guys know any strat that makes... I like how we just activated Deadwire. And Deadwire alone, that one activation, killed more zombies than both of the mines that we had saved up did. And look, we can already activate Deadwire again. And look, it's going to kill... Tons of zombies another time. So yeah, there's uh, there's no reason to use this mine. If you guys know a reason, if there's a strat that you guys know of that makes this mine useful or any reason you guys would use this over Ring of Fire, go ahead and make sure you leave it in the, uh, the comments for me to read below. But yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and end this here. This, I think, out of everything we've tested so far is probably the single most disappointing thing because unlike Jug, Jug has some uses. This, on the other hand... Um, I'm gonna go back to using my Ring of Fire, which is only tier 3, and I probably am not gonna use this maybe ever again. Who knows? Maybe if they add more tiers, we'll come back and test it out again. Or maybe there'll be a strat in the future we can use this on. But, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a thumbs down for me. Do not recommend getting the, uh, the mine tier 5. Unless, like I said, unless you got everything else done. Go ahead, get it, whatever. But yeah, it's gonna be for this video, boys. What do you want to see us review next? Have you bought the tier 5 mine? Do you love it? Is this your favorite ability ever? Definitely, definitely tell me below if it's your, um, absolute favorite ability or something like that. But yeah, it's gonna be for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.